Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. Today I have a very exciting video to share with you guys. It is in collaboration with my friend Sierra, who is SM Plans on Instagram, as well as over here on YouTube. So we will be sharing with you guys the most common planning mistakes that we all make. So if you would like to see what I have chosen, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so before I dive in, I just wanted to say that Sierra has been a huge inspiration for me uh, when it comes to planning. She is all about functionality, as you know, uh, I am as well. So it is because of Sierra that I actually do something now in my planner uh, called a weekly review. So I do have a video on uh, my weekly review process, which I will link for you guys in the description box below. I remember uh, taking a look at Sierra's planner and she had something called small wins. So rather than just looking at your week and uh, taking a look at what didn't go right or what you weren't able to accomplish, you also take a look and see what you have accomplished and what actually went well. So this is uh, how it started off for me. When I was using my Hobonichi Weeks, I would uh, take a look at my week and write down the small wins that uh, I was able to accomplish for that week, which has now developed into my weekly review process. So again, I highly request that you uh, follow Sierra's social media accounts, which I will have linked in the description box below. You will definitely learn a lot from her and be inspired just like I was. All right, so getting back to the collaboration, uh, let's get started off with the three most common planning mistakes that we all make. And I say we because trust me, I have made these mistakes as well. I probably still make these mistakes. So I thought by sharing my experiences with you guys, I am able to help you combat uh, these mistakes and hopefully avoid making them uh, in the future. All right, so the first uh, most common planning mistake that I think we all make is that we don't write everything down in our planner. So yes, I think we all do a great job of writing down um, you know, birthdays and appointments and events and things like that. So that's great, but I think the uh, gap lies when uh, you know, you're talking about things like self-care. For example, I always used to say, you know what, I want to exercise more and uh, I want to start exercising this week or I want to exercise three times this week or whatever the case may be. What ended up happening was I was never getting that done. Why? Because it wasn't written down in my planner. So now if you take a look at my routines, you'll notice that I have cardio written down on Tuesday uh, strength written down for Wednesday and cardio written down on Thursdays. So when I'm planning for my week, I take a look at that and I ba basically copy and paste that into my weekly insert. So you'll notice uh, for Tuesday, I've got cardio, Wednesday, I've got strength, and Thursday, I've got cardio again. So now because I write that down, I've noticed that I actually exercise more often. So by writing it down, does that mean that I'm going to exercise every single time or every single day? Absolutely not. You'll notice on Tuesday, I didn't get cardio done and that's okay, but at least because now that it's written down on my planner, there's a better chance that I'm going to exercise because I can see it, it's written down, I have the chance to check it off saying, yes, I've done that. Whereas before I was just relying on memory. So, you know, uh, like they say, out of sight, out of mind. Now that it's written down on my planner, there's a better opportunity that I'm going to get uh, that specific task done. All right, so moving on to the next most common planning mistake that I think we all make, and that is writing down uh, too many to-dos in our planner for that day. So what happens is, um, you know, we go to our daily insert and we just start listing all the to-dos that we can think of that we want to get done for that day. Well, what ends up happening is that we have this long list of about 20 things that we want to do for that specific day which let's be honest is very unrealistic. There's no way I'm going to get all of those things done in that one day. And it becomes um, very overwhelming just looking at that list. Uh, you know, I remember I used to get very stressed because it just was too many things and I wanted to get them all done. So what I do now to combat that is I, you know, when I sit down to plan uh, for the next day, 
I'll sit down and take a look at my running to-do list for the week. And, you know, I basically prioritize what do I need to get done that specific day. So, for example, you'll notice, um, you know, for Thursday, I have film a collab and budgeting. So, for me, those were top priorities because uh, the collab, you know, needs to be published or posted on Saturday. So, I know that I need to get that done right away. Budgeting, well, uh, my husband gets paid on Friday so I know that I need to have budgeting done before my husband gets paid. So for me, those are the uh, top priority things that I need to do, um, you know, that specific day. So what I also do is if you take a look at my daily schedule, which I have printed here on a sticky note, I do have a video on how I do that. I'll list that for you guys in the description box below. So if you take a look at my daily um, schedule, now my schedule is the same from Monday to Friday because kids have virtual learning, so it doesn't change. So what I have done is I have given myself, or I, I have allocated um, time for tasks, which is at 2 p.m. So every day I have about an hour that I've given myself to get those to-dos done. So because I have about an hour, I know that filming and budgeting that would probably t take me an hour, maybe even a little bit longer. So it doesn't make any sense to add any more to-dos than that. This is what I'm able to get done. So what I would do is ensure I get those to-dos done first, check them off, you know, I'm happy, I was productive and whatnot. Then I can go back to my to-do list and if I have time, you know, I can phone my grandma or something like that. So it's always easier to... Um, add to do's than to take away. This way I'm not overwhelmed. I know that, uh, you know, this is the most that I'm able to get done. And once they are done again, I can go back to my to-do list and add more as needed. And the third most common planning mistake that I think we all make is we try to plan like others or we try to follow a trend um, even though we know that that actually doesn't work for us. So I'll give you an example. When I had my old Instagram account, um, you know, I thought that this was the way that I was supposed to plan because this is what everybody else was doing. Um, you know, this is what would get me a lot of likes on uh, my posts and whatnot. But I did end up coming to the realization that this just is not me. This was very overwhelming. There was a lot happening for me. So that's when I decided to, um, you know, close that old account of mine and start my new account, which is Rana Plans. And this is more me, you guys. This, you know, I did decide to go more minimal. This is more functional for me. It's more organized. It makes sense. I don't have a lot of things going on which are distracting for me. So, you know, really the point I'm trying to make is... Planning is a very personal thing. Everybody is different. Uh, what works for somebody else may not work for you. This is a tool to help you with your planning process. So at the end of the day, do what works for you so that you are more efficient and more productive when it comes to planning. So that is it, you guys. Those are my three most common planning mistakes. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't wait to see what Sierra has chosen as her most common planning mistakes. So again, uh, don't forget to head on over to her channel and watch her video as well. Thank you so much for watching my videos, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.